Welcome to Motivating Motherhood. Today, we are going to be attacking my washer. Quite literally, attacking the washer. I do this deep clean probably just about every six months, give or take. And as you can see, it absolutely needs it. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First, I take apart the agitator. I take everything that comes out, I take it all out. And then I take them to a clean sink and I put some dish soap in the water, run the hot water, and then I let them soak for just a little bit. After letting it soak for a bit, I'm going to use a new sponge, Mrs. Meyer's dish soap, and baking soda. Now take note that I'm actually rinsing out the sink before messing with the fabric softener and dispenser again. Yes, it looks clean, but it's not. It is very important when you're cleaning a fabric softener dispenser that you clean the inside of it as well. You can't take it apart, you have to clean it by shaking it. Watch the left side corner. It's disgusting. Once that's clean, set it aside to dry and then you'll start cleaning the actual agitator in the washing machine.
Now here I was trying to just use a regular washcloth and it's not coming up at all. So then I added some baking soda and a dish sponge, the same one that I used to clean the other parts of the agitator and again, it wasn't really budging. So then I just decided to go ahead and pull out my scrub brush. It never fails me, and of course it did not fail me this time. It got up all of that gunk. So there was already some baking soda inside, so I went ahead and poured some vinegar in, and then I used two buckets of hot water to rinse that out. It still looks kind of gross, but it's just a yellow seal underneath. I can't really do anything to fix that. Once I finished with the agitator, I just went ahead and started putting everything back together and putting it inside. Then I just used a washcloth with some Fabuloso and started wiping down the washer. And then once again, with the amazing scrubber, there was just some spots that I couldn't quite get to with the washcloth. And then I'm going to go back over it just one more time with the washcloth. And now we're just going to run a wash cycle. Here I'm just pouring some baking soda straight into the washer. You can use a washing tablet if you have one, but I just have baking soda. Then set your soil level to heavy, your wash temperature to as hot as you can get it. You can either do a normal setting or a clean washer setting if you have it, and then the rinse is just a one rinse. After the cycle is ran, I'm just going to give it one more good wipe down. Now y'all have to see these before and after shots, they are absolutely incredible.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and leave me a thumbs up if you think that these before and after shots are as insane as I do. Please subscribe for more content. I've always got some new stuff coming your way. I absolutely love putting out new videos for y'all and cleaning things and sharing things with others because I know that I did not know that you're supposed to clean the washer until about two years ago whenever I saw somebody do it. So I hope I'm helping at least one person out there. And that's it for this video. I will see y'all later. Bye.